essential things for anybody interested in geology to learn is the three types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic. Basically, the definitions are as follows. An igneous rock is one that was formed from molten rock called either magma or lava that cools and solidifies. The second type of rock is called sedimentary. Sedimentary rocks come from elements of pre-existing rocks, either actual particles, as in this uh, sandstone, or sometimes they come from dissolved materials. So this is sort of nature's form of recycling. The third type of rocks are called metamorphic. Metamorphism means change, which is usually the result of heat and pressure. This example, which is called gneiss, has experienced pressure, and that has caused the minerals in it to align in a certain way. Now, even though it's fairly easy to learn the three types of rocks, if you just go out in your backyard and pick up a rock, it's oftentimes very difficult just looking at it to determine whether it is igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic. So I thought I'd give you just a few pointers on how you might do that. In geology, we call igneous rocks and metamorphic rocks collectively hard rocks, and we call sedimentary rocks soft rocks. Now that's uh, not to imply that if I hit you on the head with a sedimentary rock, it's going to feel soft. It simply means that you have a denser, uh, more uh, compact form in the igneous and metamorphic rocks. If you can see a rock like this granite and see individual crystals, that's a good indicator that you've got an igneous rock, although uh, that's not a hard and fast rule. Just about anything I'm going to say here in the next few seconds, uh, there's an exception to somewhere, but at least a little bit of guidance is better than nothing. Some igneous rocks are pretty much uniform, like this basalt, but again, it still has a very dense, uh, heavy feel to it, which is characteristic of igneous rocks. In metamorphic rocks, you will sometimes see alignment of mineral grains, as in this specimen. And if you see that, that is a good indicator of metamorphism. But once again, you don't see that in all metamorphic rocks. And some sedimentary rocks have a little bit of an alignment too, although usually not as pronounced as these stripes. Now sedimentary rocks are easy to spot if you can rub it, for example, and feel the individual sand grains on here and know that it's made of particles. This shale, for example, if you look from the edge, you will see that there's uh, stacks, basically, of, of fine clay minerals, although you can't see the individual particles. Uh, limestone, you can do an interesting trick. If you put a little drop of dilute acid, like uh, uh, vinegar on it, you'll get a little bit of, of bubbling and fizzing here. It's not showing up too well, but uh, under a hand lens, you'll be able to see it. And that's uh, uh, pretty indicative of a sedimentary rock. You won't see that uh, with too many rocks that are not sedimentary.